It's time for the wooden watch presented by Principal. And Armando and R.J. Davis are sitting here. So as you look at these numbers and both on the wooden watch, highest scoring duels in the ACC. Armando, do you have a playlist already picked out for if you guys win tonight? Oh, already. We already got it picked out and we're ready for it. Yeah, you already ready? We're ready for it. All right. <laughs> we'll, see if, we'll see if we'll hear it emanating from the Carolina locker room. Delighted to be joined by Armando Baycott, R.J. Davis. These two guys have a lot of experience in this rivalry. You know what occurs to me? One of the great things about rivalry is there's a joy in beating your opponent. There's also a joy in watching your opponent suffer. Mm. You guys were both part of the win over Duke, Coach K's final game at Cameron, and also part of the final four. Don't look at me, Mondo. Don't look at me. <laughs> so, from a personal standpoint, R.J., which of those two wins was more personally satisfying to you? I mean, to me, it was, has to be Coach K's last game at Duke. Um, <laughs> um, we went into that game. No one thinks we were going to be able to win it. Um, but we came out on top, and we were super confident going into that game. And, you know, going back into Franklin Street, uh, the crowd rushed us, and we jumped right into the crowd and celebrated as a team. Armando, which one for you? For me, definitely the one at Duke, uh, seeing guys like Jay Williams, J.J. Reddick, all those guys <laughs> come back, and they're wearing their K-shirt, and just to see the look on their face after the game. One of the best feelings. They thought they would have a good night out in Durham that day, so <laughs> we got it done. You guys turned me into a meme that night, Mondo. I don't like it. <laughs> I think you turned yourself oh, into I was a meme. Trying to call a timeout. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Armando and RJ, uh, earlier this year, you guys played against UConn and Kentucky back to back, and you gave up 87 in, in each of those games. But since then, you guys are only giving up 64 points a game, and you haven't let anybody get over 70. What happened from that point to this where your defense is now the lead story instead of your offense? Well, I mean, we knew our offense was always going to be good, but Coach Davis always said what's going to set us apart is our defense. Uh, we had the potential to be a really good defensive team, but we just had to take those little strides and, you know, game planning mistakes that we, we messed up on. But we definitely take personal our matchups. Uh, we're, being, we're talking more, we're communicating with one another, and our defense has been improving. Do you guys have any shot this year, do you think, of getting Hubert Davis to curse just once? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Armando, I, you know, from a participant in this game, one of the things that always annoyed me as a player was we could have two or three games before the Duke Carolina game. And every post game, every reporter is like, so, do you, are you guys looking ahead? Like, what, what are your thoughts? I'm like, yo, I'm just focused on this game. Have you guys felt that as players who've been here for long periods of time that the media tries to set you up for that game and doesn't take you away and your focus on what the game is in front of you? Definitely. I mean, the UNC and Duke rivalry is the greatest rivalry in all of sports. And leading up to the week, y'all know how crazy it is. It's interviews all week. But even before that, you hear the game, you hear the game, and we try to focus in on what's to come next. But I, mean, I guess that's what comes with great rivalries. Roger, I said before that I'm a very petty individual, <laughs> and uh, I think a lot of players are when we play. <laughs> What's the one thing you hate about Duke basketball the most? <laughs> You're going to put me in a spot like that. I'm just saying, we all got our little things, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think just the, when you guys have those little billboards that you walk out and crowds going crazy as you're shooting around, and well, one thing I do about it is I have my headphones on, so I can't hear anything you guys say. Smart. <laughs> Smart. Well, you don't have head. Well, you have the headsets in to hear us, but there's some Duke people up there right now that might have something to say to you. Yeah, we're not worried about that. You're not worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> now, last, last two times you played here, Duke's been able to come out on top. So as you guys are getting a little uh, older in your careers now, what's the importance of winning tonight on your home floor against your rival? Well, I mean, I think this is my last time playing Duke here, so got to make sure we get that W. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, 100%. I mean, for Miles last year, um, my last year playing with him, definitely won that for him, but also at the same time protect home court and just come out and set the tone. Also a big, big game in terms of the ACC race, guys. Pleasure to watch you both play. Great to have you with us on the show. Armando Baycott, R.J. Davis, sensational. Great North Carolina Tar Heels and both worthy.